Okay, so here's the problems that I'm having with the oscilloscope. I'm hooked up to the circuit. I'm actually driving out data. It's 115k, 115.2k baud. And now I'll go ahead and turn on the oscilloscope. Okay. hooked up to channel one. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this to run. Okay, uh, let's go to um, Auto. All right, so we got our we got our data coming across here, and if I put um, the decode on, so right now I'm going to uh, set my trigger up. I'm going to go to normal, normal triggering. And I'm going to go to 232. And right now I have to use a user baud rate because the baud rate for triggering does not work. And I have to set this up to 123 approximately uh, K baud because the uh, the triggering baud rate is not uh, not correct. So even if I measure a bit time of this uh, of this data, so I'm going to zoom into the data, and then you can see here's a here's a bit time, and I'm going to go ahead and measure that bit time. So here's the measurement of the bit time. <coughs> side, here's the other side, so you can see that it's uh, 115 k baud up here is the bit time, so, but I have to set the trigger baud rate to 123 uh, K baud. So even though it's, you know, it's um, the bit times are proving that it's 115 K baud. It's just not um, able to uh, trigger at that baud rate. If I adjust the baud rate down to 115 K baud, so let's go back to this. And so if I go to, so I was triggering off of 13. Now let me try to trigger off of 10. And it can't find anything. So, but if I switch the baud rate to 123. Approximately. Hard to adjust. Let's see, one twenty three. So then all of a sudden it starts working around one hundred and twenty three. It's another thing is the adjustment for this is very, very hard. You can turn it quickly and then all of a sudden it jumps by huge amounts. Alright, 
So if I get it down to the 123, whatever, then it starts triggering. So then I can go through my data pattern and check all the triggers. And it should be 33. Okay, so the baud rate still is not quite right. So the problem with this is that if you don't, if you have a signal, you don't even know how to set your trigger baud rate up because it's not quite working, you know? So this is unacceptable. Now the next thing is the decode. So let me go to decode. So if I do uh, RS-232, the bus status is on, channel 1, uh, none for RX, just doing channel 1. Um, here's the baud rate. If I do 115, let me try to adjust the trigger um, threshold. <coughs> okay, so maybe we weren't at the right trigger threshold. Okay, so now you can see here's the data. So there's the data. I've adjusted the trigger threshold for the decode. So let's go back to the baud rate and let's put it back to 115.2. Okay, so now it looks like it's working here at 115.2. So now let's go ahead and try to capture, okay, so see it moved across there. Now let's go ahead and try to capture waveform. So let's go to acquire and let's go to, uh, uh, let's just do uh, 140k points. And actually let's change it to the decode to uh, ASCII. Okay, and then we'll just scale this down one time. So you can see I have my data coming out here. And that's the data that it sees up here. Okay, so now we're gonna, you see this little, once in a while there's a character out here, or there's a character walking across, because there's um, multiple things going on on that serial port and I wanted to see what was going on. So let's do a capture. So I'm recording. And you see that one thing fly by. Okay, so let's stop. Now let's go back through all the way to the beginning. Now let's step through it. My decode's not working except for the last frame. So if you look at the last frame, if I scroll all the way through to the last frame, that's the proper decode for the last frame. But if I start stepping backwards, like there's no decode here, and you can see the decode is still left over from the last from the last frame. So the decode is not working when you're scrolling through uh, the waveforms that you captured. It only it's only showing you the last. Uh, decode of all the decodes you recorded. So it's kind of useless for being able to search back through the waveforms because you can only decode the last waveform and it just persists through all the waveforms that you scroll through. So those are the things that are making it unacceptable for me to uh, keep this uh, oscilloscope.